I know you're wondering why you'd want to mess with a free software that's in its earliest stages of programming. All the updates, upgrades to the program, well, there's a lot of reasons why you should. And if you think you don't have that in any other software, think again. Look at Lightroom, GIMP, the 10-year-old bug. All these programs are constantly dealing with bug fixes, bug fixes, and updates. And it's a good thing. That's great. Now these guys are going to keep working on this, so and it is getting better all the time. So let's go take a look at the program and see just why. Why would you want this free software? Alright, I loaded an image in here already. And what I'm going to do is pick one of my my effects, a preset, right here. Now here's the before, and here's the after. And it does look a lot better. With one exception. This Jeep. Now I'll show you why. There's the original and the after. And then even in the original, even if you hadn't done anything to it, this is a black vehicle. But look at all the blue in it. I mean, it's too much blue. Blue is one of the colors you need to make black, though. And apparently the camera, because of the lighting conditions or whatever, misread this and put too much blue in it. So we want to fix that without altering anything else in the image. Well, normally what you could do is just go in here if you have the clarity pack you'd have precision contrast and HSL color tuning which you really should consider getting. See all the blue that's in there? The, the red hash marks? Alright, if we go to blue and take the saturation down Watch your progress bar. All right, now we got a black vehicle. Great, right? Look what it did to the sky. It ruined the sky. It just turned it to gray. And by the way, if you want to re-zero any of these sliders, just click on the name here. All right. Now, that's a problem. Normally, in a program, you have to go and mask it and It'd be a real, real aggravation to do that. But in studio, every one of these adjustments, every one of them, all of them, have a mask. And it's really easy to work with. Let's see how to do this. Alright, here's a brush. We'll use a brush. Alright. The first thing we want to do is just rack up here on top of the vehicle because it's got too much blue in it. It should be solid black. Don't forget the little back window there. I just want to show you how easy this is. And how quickly this can be done.
All right, let's see how that worked. Well, that's pretty good. All right, we got our mask. Problem is, if you make any changes in here now, they'll only happen in the areas that are white because you've masked the Jeep out. But all we want to change is the Jeep. So we go right here and invert the mask. See how easy that is? Now we're just working on the Jeep. So now if we come down here to blue and take the saturation down. Alright, now we've got a black Jeep and the sky is still the same, hasn't changed. So we fixed it. We've fixed the Jeep. Everything. It just worked great. Now the one nice thing about this that you can do that I don't know if anybody's explained this yet. You got this nice mask here. Let's copy it. Let's go up here to basic adjustment. Paste the mask. We'll paste it in here. Alright, but now we want to work on anything but the Jeep because we've already fixed that. So let's invert the mask again. Alright, let's get down here to give it a little more clarity. That dark in the shadows. Lighten the image a little. Add a little saturation. Alright, there we are. And we didn't change the, the Jeep, it's still black. But we did change some of the other colors and saturations in the other part of the image. Now you can copy this mask anywhere and use it for anything. Alright, let's just try a basic correction here. I made the scenery look a lot nicer, but we still have the problem with the blue in the Jeep. And if you don't have any of the clarity pack or the pro adjustments, you can still use the mask. to correct that. You can use this mask feature in any of these adjustments. Alright, let's say we adjust this down not too far. Okay, now we've got the Jeep is just black. And the rest of the image still the way we set it. So what does this mean? What it means is this program has features and options that you won't find in any other program. And I'm sure you'd be really tickled to death to use this once you learn how to use the program. The mask feature in it is fantastic. It's really easy which normally is a nightmare working with a mask but this makes it so easy it's unreal you really should give this a try I'll put links in the description for the clarity pack and where to go to download the program you gotta sign in and download it. it's free and you can't go wrong and they'll keep updating it and 
fixing it so that it works better all the time. Alright, thanks for joining us on this.